Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. I want to say something. I am a journalist from uh, the UK. I represent ABP News and AMI. And I am a member of Indian Journalists Association. And I am representing all the journalists who are members of this organization. Ashish, um, you know me very well. And uh, I have distributed um, a statement from all the journalists to a few of them here. Before we uh, talk about whether Suja misled us or not, or whether he was telling the truth or not, let's talk about whether you misled the members of Indian Journalists Association and whether you are telling the truth or not. Because there is a big executive com uh, committee within the IJA who was not informed of this particular press conference. IJA does not plan press conferences. Its job is to protect the rights of Indian journalists who are representing various media organizations um, in the UK and who work for Indian, Indian channels. So why? So when you were planning this press conference, why did you not uh, feel important to consult with the executive committee whether or not you should, you know, go ahead with this or this kind of uh, proposal was in front of you and, and and how should one determine that you have you actually did due diligence before planning this uh, press conference and whether your actions of this press conference was not a hand in glove thing with the Congress party. You raised a lot of points. Uh, there are certain matters which are internal matters of IGA and therefore I will not discuss uh, those aspects. I think you've been out of London for some time, therefore you're not aware of the records which have been presented to all members. There I was an, a, an executive committee meeting which was held and uh, this was one of the items on the agenda and it was uh, discussed in great detail. Uh, the due diligence which I referred to was also there for executive members to see uh, and, and uh, as far as uh, not consulting the committee, that is completely untrue. We have a process in IJA. And as I said, without going into too much detail as far as what our constitution says or does not say, the first process is that the secretary and the treasurer come to know about any event that is taking place. And then the executive committee comes to know about it. So both the secretary and the uh, the treasurer as well as the executive committee. There are email records of this new in advance before members, the general body of members were informed. So that is the fact. So let us not falsify. I had an open letter from all the journalists. It does not Sayah matter. Rajka, no, I, I does Ashish, not matter. That clearly says nobody was consulted, it, it, it nobody is, was informed. They true. were simply invited. You are to not a member of the you are I, I am a member not, of IJA. You are not a member of the executive committee. Yeah, so not. you cannot say that the executive but committee. So many people have signed the letter saying they haven't. I, I don't know informed. which letter you are referring to. Frankly, I'm not interested in discussing <laughs> internal matters of uh, IJA. Uh, IGA will deal with it within itself, and this is a platform which is for journalists in India, and I'm happy to answer any questions which are of general interest. Let, let, let me request all the members here. I, I don't think, know. Uh, um, when she says this is, just Mr. Ray is here in Delhi, and he has been, he, he is just explaining what has happened on that day. We are not here to discuss the internal matters of IGA. Okay? So, what but I have raised the question whether he had so some dealing with the Congress party as to why, what was no, only that, Mr. Sibbal doing there. You limit yourself to that question. Yes. Don't yes, discuss IJA internal matters. You can ask the other people. I'm sorry, I'm not discussing IJA matters here. What I'm saying, IJA internal matters. IJA represents a body of journalists. What I'm trying to say is that we were not consulted. Nor was the executive committee. You can so ask why, God, her, why did he alert the there. decision of holding this press conference, which is not the job of IJ in the first place? And the Foreign Press Association immediately disassociated themselves from this shambolic press conference the very next day after they found out that there is no basis to this. Uh, I think uh, you have 
every right to express your view uh, in IJA meetings, but all of what you're saying is not correct. I'm sorry to say this, and I'm sorry to say this about an IJA member at a press conference in Delhi, which is being hosted by the press club of India. But I will answer your question regarding uh, 